How's it going, everybody? I've had a viewer request to show a close-up on the ABO, or the primitive flint napping technique. So let me show you a little closer view of how that works. Now for today, I'm gonna to be using Daysight, and a lot of men asking where I get my materials. I get them from neolithics.com. So I'm gonna use Daysight, which is a nappable material. I'm going to use an abrading stone. That's just a rough stone that I found. I'm going to use some hammer stones. These are kind of pointy, durable stones, actually from Lake Ontario where I grew up. And then I'm gonna use some deer antlers. And that's it, other than a piece of leather. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, to begin with, we need to get a flake off of this. And as far as getting a flake is concerned, uh, you basically wanna hit a platform sort of like this where it bends down from the center line and it's got what I call a belly underneath. And then I'm going to strike it essentially like this downwards right on that point. Now to dull that edge, use your abrader. That'll do two things. Number one, it makes that line more visible that you're just gonna hit right there on the edge. Number two, it dulls the platform and it gives it more rigidity when you strike it. I'm gonna hold it in a piece of leather just to try to protect my fingers a little bit, but you can do that or not do that. And then I'm going to strike again into that platform. Okay, there's a small chip. You could definitely make a small arrowhead, but let's go ahead and try to make another one. So now I'm just gonna move over a little bit. I've still got a platform. Okay, that sounded way better. Okay, now that's a chip, mate. All right, so now we're gonna try to make this into an arrowhead. My strategy on this is I've got to either break off this bulb, this heavy end, or thin it, and then work this thinner part into a usable arrowhead that'll only be, you know, about that big. I usually begin by abrading all of that sharp edge off. Um, and the next thing I'm gonna do is see if I can get rid of this bulb. So the bulb has a big fat end. I'm gonna go ahead and try striking into this, see if I can thin it out, but it's gonna be tricky with these tools. I'm gonna hold it into my leg and I'm just gonna try to hit that one little bulb end. Now again, I don't think that this is gonna do much, but let's give it a try. Okay, it actually did. It pulled off that little flake. So when I flip this over, you'll notice that it thinned it right there. You see how much thinner it is? So let me keep working. Let me keep working. I'm gonna hit this little platform right there. And I'm kind of driving in and down at the same time. Okay, taking off some more material. This is not gonna be a pretty arrowhead when we're done, but it'll totally be functional. Okay, so you'll notice I got a bunch of chatter. Chatter is when you get these little step fractures here. That's okay, we're not going for aesthetics. We're trying to thin the piece. And so you see I've thinned it through here. Now let me work this little point, try to thin this down. Okay, so that work that I just did broke this off. Now what I'm gonna do is turn my attention to the other side, try to drive this down. Oh, that was nice. Okay, we're talking little flakes. And if you look really carefully, see how I'm thinning that bulb bend? This is actually the trickiest part, in my opinion, of flint napping. These bulbs are really difficult. So now, let me attack this. I'm gonna strike here and try to drive that off. Hey, that wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. So you see I've made two little inroads. Let's rough that up and keep trying it some more. I abrade a lot and you see, and you see now I've got a little bit more of a platform edge going here. Just trying to thin it. All right. 
Okay, you see all those flakes I've driven off and it's definitely getting thinner. Now what I'm gonna do is get this little part right here, right here, and then I'm gonna flip back to the other side. Okay, it's acting a little stubborn. Let me keep coming down it just a little bit. All right, that's about the best I can do there. So now, braid, a braid, a braid. I know you're probably getting bored with this, but I'm just still trying to thin. Right here, I've got a platform, drive it in. That may be approaching how thin I can do it with this big hammer stone. So now I'm gonna switch to pressure flaking. Pressure flaking means you use the tip of this antler and you're going to press everywhere a platform comes down. You're gonna press and press in and down into the leather pad. Try to take a flake off this way. Again, here's the arrowhead I just made. Several shots through a squash into a target, no damage, still super sharp, absolutely fine. Blew the heck out of this squash. Yeah, squash for dinner.